Hey, how's it going? What's up, gentlemen? What do we got here? So I got some old currency. Um, happens to be signed by Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett. OK. You know what his nickname is? The Buffet King. So his nickname is the Oracle of Omaha. <laughs> I'm looking to sell my $500,000 bills signed by Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. I got these autographed bills from a much wealthier friend of mine. He gifted them to me, I said, do what I want with them, and I ended up here. I'm hoping to get $10,000 for these bills today. I want to man up, buy a ring for my girlfriend, propose to her, have some money for the wedding. Hopefully, we can do that today. These are absolutely amazing. I love them. So we have Warren Buffett on a 500 and Warren Buffett on a 1,000, Charlie Munger on a 500 and Charlie Munger on a 1,000. This is cool. It's signed by Warren Buffett. He's from Omaha, Nebraska. He uh, always been a businessman. He had a paper route he made money off of. Gets out of college, goes into the business world, eventually goes into business for himself, and just continually kept on buying businesses. And today, it's made him worth around $70 billion. Some people would say that's a lot of money. We have Charlie Munger, more or less the same thing. He went in business with uh, Warren Buffett and eventually became um, a billionaire himself. It's pretty cool having these bills signed by billionaires. I mean, Charlie Munger is cool, uh, but Warren Buffett is way cooler. Remember these 1934, all of them? Isn't that the last year the $1,000 was printed? Nope. $500 bills and $1,000 bills were printed all the way through the mid-1950s. They were still printing them. I think they should put them back in. It would just be easier to carry around $10,000. Because you do that all the time? No, but you do. <sighs> now, I like them. How much you want for them? $10,000. OK. Um, you definitely have a lot of money here. Just these bills in their current condition without signatures on them are worth $8,000. And you have some pretty impressive signatures on them, so I think it might raise the value a little bit. Um, and normally, I'd call him my signature guy, but he's out of town right now. But I know the bills are real, and I'm just going to take a risk. So you take 6000 for him? Uh, no way. Maybe 9000 I go seven? 75? I'll do 75. Okay, okay cool. Then. Um, he'll meet you right over there. Okay. And uh, do some paperwork, get you paid. Some people have called me the Oracle of the pawn shop. <laughs> what's up, Hey, Rick? what's up? How are you? Why don't you go ahead and show them those bills you bought? Oh, these are pretty cool. Check this out. Bam, 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 bam. So Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, supposedly they signed him. Right. The bills are definitely real. I'd hope so. You paid $7,500 for them. <laughs> so tell me the signatures are real. Well, you don't see these too often. Usually a dollar bill, maybe 100 once in a while. But finding 1,500 signed by these guys is pretty uncommon. The one thing I would definitely tell you, Rick, is that Buffett is known for not signing in person usually. Very difficult. And also using an auto pen. Don't get nervous, though. We'll take a look at these. First thing I want to do is obviously look at the ink on these, Rick. What you seeing? Ink's looking good so far, Chumley. Usually, AutoPen has uh, some pretty bad stops, starting points. I'm not really seeing that here on here. So I don't see anything that would make me think either of these signatures are done by a machine. OK. OK, so the next thing, Rick, obviously, is look at some examples. And I do have some stuff here um, on file. Signed by Buffett. Get a slight angle to the right. He's kind of has this big uh, curl in here that he uses in his W. He comes out of it. And then he's kind of overpronounced on everything else. Munger, on the other hand, very sloppy, very simple signature. Same thing here. OK, so are they real signatures? There's no doubt in my mind they're 100% genuine. OK. What do you think they're worth? It is really super uncommon, Rick, to see 500s and 1,000s signed by people. You know, these two are coupled together business-wise. They're signed beautifully. I put the value right at $12,000. OK, sweet. See, chum, I told you so. Wow, you told me something again. Can you just get your feet off my furniture? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, well, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Good seeing you. You did good, Rick. I'm really proud of you. 